If there were mixed feelings among train buffs, waiting to record the end of an era, it was a shame they had to wait so long for it to happen. But then, in Victoria, delays are as traditional as the old trains themselves. When the sudden aurora finally chugged in, some passengers had no sense of occasion. Well, we didn't even know it was the last trip. <laughs> I didn't even know about it. No, it's good. Well, we didn't know until we read it in the paper last night, so it was rather a surprise, actually, that we were on the last one. What do you think about it finishing up? Oh, uh, disappointing, really. But, uh, well, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Disappointing it may be, but the sudden aurora hasn't always given an easy ride. In 1969, there was tragedy when it ploughed into a goods train at Violet Town, north of Melbourne, killing nine and leaving 100 people injured. Contrast the launch in 1937 of the Spirit of Progress, Australia's first air-conditioned train reaching unheard of speeds of 80 miles an hour. Here's the Spirit of Progress today. And here's its replacement, the Sydney Express. If they look the same, well, they are, almost. The new Express will comprise a combination of carriages, Spirit and Southern Aurora. It should run until the high-speed XBT trains take over in about three years' time.